I am so happy to be able to share with you a little bit about kindergarten. I wrote down just a few of my thoughts and it's maybe not often that you're in a kindergarten classroom. So uh, I'd like to give you a little glimpse of what that's like. My students are sweet and curious little people. And at Great Hearts, we get to give them the very best of the Western tradition, the best books, the best stories, the best ideas for their curious minds to feast upon. And that might sound a little bit lofty for kindergartners. Uh, and it's true that six-year-olds are not seminaring on Plato's Republic, uh, but we are actively pursuing the good and the true and the beautiful in kindergarten. We do this by starting our day with poetry. I stand in front of my students and uh, I recite beautiful poems to them from a child's garden of verses. And as they sit and listen, um, they begin to know the poems and they start to add motions to them and then they start to look each other in the eye and start to mouth the words as the days go on. And eventually, out of nowhere, they just start reciting with me because poetry is wonderful to listen to, but eventually you just need to recite it. And now at this point in the year, everyone raises their hand during poetry and says, may I please stand and recite? May I please stand and recite? And we recite poems until it's 8.15 and then we have to move on to phonics. And they say, one more please, and I say, okay. <laughs> and we start working on our phonics and uh, we write words and letters and we work on having beautiful handwriting uh, because it's good to create something that is beautiful. So our kindergartners focus on starting at two on the clock and curving up to the baseline, down to the midpoint, down to the baseline and back up. And we make beautiful O's. And my students say, oh, Miss Borchers, when can I write like that? And they're not pointing at my handwriting on the board. Uh, they're pointing at the Declaration of Independence <laughs> that is framed and hanging in the classroom. And I say, fourth grade, when you learn Spencerian, your Sunday handwriting, which is very fancy cursive. And so then they have renewed courage and motivation to take on their handwriting because creating beautiful handwriting takes years. And these kindergarten students have the courage to face their own flaws and keep going because they can see the end goal that's in front of them, something beautiful. And then it's time for math. And so uh, we talk about numbers. What are numbers? How do they work? How do you pull them apart? Can you put them back together? Can you split them in half? Well, this number we can split in half, but oh, this one, there's that pesky one left over. Can't split that in half. And so we play with numbers. And some days I let my students indulge in numbers completely. And I say, uh, tell me some numbers. And I'll write them on the board. And it starts slow, one, they say, two, five, numbers that they're well acquainted with. And then the excitement starts to, to build and they say 10, 100, 1,000, 1 million. And everyone gasps because we can hardly imagine a million. And then one child says zero. And everyone laughs because zero is mysterious and different than other numbers. It's funny. So at Great Hearts, we don't need candy in math class or stickers to play with in math class to count. Uh, the numbers themselves are the delight. And the numbers themselves are what students are excited to explore and play with, which is great because there are a lot more numbers out there for my kindergarten <laughs> students to play with. And they also like to skip count, 10, 20, 30, 40. And right now they're doing a pretty good job with their tens, twos, and fives, but they have ambitions. They want to skip count by sevens, and by nines, and by elevens, starting at 47, starting at 792. They like to give me these challenges in class. Miss Borchers, please skip count by 37, starting at 7,192. <laughs> so, working on my mental math, because they love to hear it, and they listen to it, and it's like a song. They just get to enjoy numbers. They just get to play with them. And at Great Hearts in kindergarten, we also enjoy great stories. We listen to The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. 
I know, it's just wonderful. It's so great. And we get to uh, listen to grim fairy tales and, and be, I know, and Beatrix Potter, amazing stories. Uh, stories that the teachers enjoy just as much as the students. Stories that uh, stick with you. The stories where I've had to say, oh, Johnny, please close the bathroom door. I know you don't want to miss anything, but we just, we need privacy and that's what's appropriate. But it's Heidi, Miss Borchers. I love Heidi. I want to hear what happens next. <laughs> it is very exciting. <laughs> so, and then we have lunch and, and I wish I could just tell you so many more stories. We have science class and history and calendar and music and art and PE and French and it is absolutely wonderful. It is the best job in the entire world. I am shocked every time I meet someone and they just aren't a Great Hearts Kindergarten teacher because what else could you want to do with your life? It is magical. So perhaps I've convinced you to become a Great Hearts Kindergarten teacher. Uh, perhaps not. Um, but I do want to thank you so much for your support of our schools and teachers. And I'll close with this. Uh, I asked my students today, I told them I was going to talk about kindergarten with some people and asked them if there's anything they wanted me to tell you. And they said, we love Spalding. That was one of uh, the things, that, right? Spalding's pretty fun. It's our phonics curriculum. They also wanted you to know that we have an elevator in our school. So we have an elevator. It's very exciting for kindergarten students. <laughs> and they wanted you to know that our classroom guinea pigs, uh, Dwight Eisenhower and John Quincy Adams, are extremely cute. So I will close with that, uh, that kindergartners say wonderful things, and uh, they are the most wonderful people. So thank you so much for supporting me and for supporting our uh, Great Hearts Academies. Thank you very much.